Hi everyone, today we're going to walk you through how you're gonna set up your Yarbo data sensor. It's simple and straightforward. First, grab the 30 meter Ethernet cable and extension pole from the Yarbo core box. And remember, there's a slight difference between the extension pole for the mount and the standard pole for the data sensor. Thread the internet cable through the pole. Take your time, it slides through easily. Now let's connect the data sensor to the extension pole. Press the small button on the data sensor and line it up with the hole in the pole. Once it clicks into place, pull out a little bit of the cable so it can reach the internet ports later. Next, carefully unscrew the gland set on this one port of the data sensor. Take off the cover and push out the black rubber plug-in inside. Thread the ethernet cable through the gland and its cover. Then snap the black rubber plug back onto the cable. This ensures a snug fit. Now, connect the Ethernet cable to the one port on the data sensor. Screw the gland cover back on, making sure everything is secure. With the cable connected, push the black rubber plug into the place and tighten the gland cover. Then fasten the connection bolts and secure the data sensor to the extension pole. Next, press the Ethernet cable into the crevice of the T-joint. Connect the extension pole to the T-joint by pressing the wrong button and align it with a hole in the pole. Press the wrong button again to connect the T-joint to the standard pole. Secure everything with the connection bolts for stability. Now let's install the antennas. You'll find three antennas in your double port box. Attach them securely. Then fold the Halo and Bluetooth antenna at a 90 degree angle, pulling them upwards. Use the Halo antenna clips to snap them onto the data sensor, and tighten the clevis pin to lock them in place. Don't forget to secure it with the art clip. And now let's move inside the house and install data sensor into the top of your house. Finally, position the mounts on your roof or any flat surface. Mark the spots for four holes and drill them out. Thread the Ethernet cable through the middle hole or through a gap in the pole, and secure the mount using appropriate screws or bolts based on your surface. And that's it, you have successfully installed your Yobo data center. Now you're ready to enjoy precise, hands-free control of your Yobo. Thanks for watching and feel free to reach out if you need any help.